they, these teachers and these teachers fight truth just as James and Jambres uh, fought against Moses. They have dirty minds, wrapped in, and twisted, and have turned against the Christian faith. But they won't get away with all of this forever. Someday they have deceived them. Well, 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 well known to everyone who as will be saying, James and Jambres, but you know from watching me that I am not that kind of a person. You know that what I believe and the way I live and what I want, you are my faith in Christ and now suffering. You know my love for you and my patience. You know how many troubles I have as a result of my preaching. You're, you're preaching the good news. You know about all that had been done to me while I was visiting Antioch, Income, Lystra, but the Lord delivered me. Yes, and those who decide to, to please Christ Jesus by living godly lives will suffer all hell. And those who hate him, in fact, evil men and false teachers will become worse and worse, receiving many they themselves have been deceived by. Here's the final thing that I want to share with you tonight. We need to hear God speak to our hearts. We need to hear him give us understanding and direction for the way that we should walk and the way that we should talk, the way that we should act, the way that we should, should really trust in God to lead and direct us in the right way. The whole Bible was given to us by inspiration. To the whole Bible was given to us by inspiration from God and, you, and it's useful to teach us that what is true and to make us realize what is wrong in our lives. It straightens out and helps us to do what is right. It is God's way of making us well prepared. Every point, fully equipped and good to and do, do, do good to everyone. Amen. Amen. So, as we hear the word of God, the truth of God's word, how he loves us all. He wants us to help us. He wants to share it with us. The plan that he has to restore unto us the many things that Satan has led us around in. He wants to bless you, bring you into the fold, and let you know that God loves you more than anything that you can believe or imagine. Let's pray. Ask God to bless us and to meet the needs of our lives. Heavenly Father, we thank you tonight for your love, for your blessing. We thank you, God, that you are God, and besides you there is none other. We thank you, God, that you literally speak into the hearts and lives of people here tonight, bringing them to the attention of knowing the will of God for their lives, how that literally they can know for sure that literally the time will come when that either they will be accepted or rejected, and they will know for sure it's that moment of when that they have to move or they have to do something that's great and wonderful that makes them realize and know that literally they are not rejected. They are literally brought into the glory of God and every blessing that has been missed by them will be regained and everything will be fine. Grant this in Jesus' name I pray. And everybody said, Amen. 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 God bless you. Anybody need uh, uh, prayer? Or did I go too fast? Well, I guess I did all right then. Father, thank you for your goodness, your mercy, your love. Thank you, God, that you bless us together and keep us in your truth. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody said, Amen. 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 The Lord bless you.